What's up YouTube, this is Collect Pokemon and welcome back to another video. So uh, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about a question that might have came across your mind when you're thinking about investing in Pokemon card and that is whether easy money has already been made. And um, here I am going to make two video, one that is gonna be released right now that you're watching and one that is gonna be released 24 hours later. This first video is to talk about how people way of collecting, how people way of accessing Pokemon cards has been changing. And because of this change, why even if Pokemon is printing tons and crap loads of cards, a lot of sealed products is still going to be a good investment in the long run. And the second part of this video, which will be released tomorrow, I'm going to talk about my personal prediction as to what is happening because I don't want you guys to think about this video as something that I'm endorsing that this is definitely a good investment you guys should buy now because in the next video I'm also going to caution you as to what I predict that the next few months what will happen in the next three to six months so make sure you watch both video before you make your own decision whether to invest or not this is simply my personal thoughts and um yeah i'm not endorsing i'm not telling people to do one thing or the other so hit the like button the subscribe button and um support me on my membership and um yeah let's get into it so the way how people collect and open Pokemon cards was very, very different. Um, and the acceptance of how people like opening cards are very, very different. Traditionally, what people would do is that they would go into Toys R Us, they would go into some card stores and they would rip open one pack or two packs. Um, and some of these packs could be opened at the, um, what do you call it, uh, convenience store as well. And, you know, that has been the way how people open Pokemon cards for the past 20 years or 30 years. If you count, you know, 1994 and uh, Magic the Gathering, one of the big trading card game that was released. But um, over the past few years, you know, streaming and uh, people opening packs for other people has became somewhat of a norm right now um i i actually did a lot of these myself if you guys look at my older channel especially shining star v you know we have case break we have booster breaks and it was a lot of fun i mean i get to open cards that, that's why you guys ask me hey collect pokemon you know are you just investing in sealed products you're not have the urge to open cards anymore trust me i've opened so many cards that i actually don't have the urge to open a pack of cards when I see it. I am totally immune to the, to the what do you call those, uh, temptation of opening a booster pack because I've just opened so much cards. I've placed so much card in, what do you call it, card saver, that sometimes my, the, the, the thumb, that part between the, the nail thing, and it, it, it just gets cut open because I've been placing it into card saver for a lot of cards in card saver anyway what i'm trying to say is that um yeah you know starting in the 2020 when people were stuck in COVID, when kids went to school on zoom the norm or the acceptance of people opening cards for you at a much premium a higher premium price became a norm people were okay with it because they see it as an entertainment they see it as excitement um, and so, born whatnot, and all these other online streaming platform that allows you know cards to be open, auctions to be done, and um, yeah, you know people hated it at first. Some people might still hate it. I mean, if you look at other YouTubers, like ah, we're not gonna let people open our cards you know you should never buy from a streamer but look at them they are a streamer themselves as well so what i'm trying to say is i'm not trying to bash on whether it's right or wrong it's just that the world is changing and you know you can either bash on whether the world is changing whether it's good or bad or um if you can't stop them join them or if you're not joining them make use of this idea make use of how the world is changing to your advantage okay so even though pokemon are printing billions of cards 
so many of them are being opened. You know, it doesn't matter because streamer just buys tons of these cards. I've been, you know, so many people have actually reached out to me saying, hey, Collect Pokemon, could you be my supplier for Japanese cards? You know, you know, we run a streaming channel and, you know, we want to, you know, open cards quick and so on. You know, are you able to provide us with certain cards? You know, something like that. And to be very honest, I haven't done wholesale for cards for a very long time. So, um, I mean, if you guys are interested, you can let me know. I can still have access to many of these cards. Um, yeah, hit me up. But what I'm trying to say is that it's real. Streamer are the ones that are actually opening the cards. And even the way how we purchase stuff is very different. I mean, in, in China or in Asia, you know, we're seeing a lot of people just live streaming and, you know, they sell different products, especially like clothes with the Instagram stores and stuff. Um, and, and that's the way how people sell stuff. And that's the way how people are accepting to buy stuff. And because of this, it doesn't matter how many billion of Pokemon cards are being printed. A lot more of them are being opened. And because of that, a lot more people now have access to cards. I mean, to be very honest with you, how many of you guys have actually been to a TCG store, a card store? And, you know, it's just very inconvenient. I mean, in Hong Kong here, all those TCG card store open at around 3 or 4 p.m. And I mean, yes, they close at like 8 or 9 or even 10 p.m. or even 12 midnight, but still. You know, if you're like a, a, a normal person and sometimes you want to just go there in the daytime, it's not open. Sometimes when you go there and you want to buy certain packs, it's not there. You know, it's sold out. And even if it is not sold out, some of these card stores actually have to source older booster box from the market. And basically, they are actually selling it at a market price or even a marked up market price because they have to make money too. And because of that, you know, there isn't much option. You know, you either buy or you don't buy. You know, you might see prices that are a lot cheaper on eBay or similar. But then because the store have to make some money and they bought it off those eBay that you saw, you know, the price are much higher. So what I'm just trying to say to you guys is that access to Pokemon card, access to choices are much larger. And because of that, a lot more Pokemon cards are being opened. And that tells me something. That tells me that opportunity of sealed products is just lurking around. If you are able to hold on to a lot of these sealed products, it is definitely going to be worthwhile. Why do I know this? How do I know this? If you go on eBay right now, and if you attempt to search up certain booster boxes, I'm talking about uh, the booster box in the mid 2020, uh, sorry, mid 2010 era. Um, Primal Crash, Ancient Origin, Breakpoint, Breakthrough, the XY Mega Evolution period Pokemon cards. You simply don't see a lot of booster box being on sale. You simply don't see a lot of booster box being sold. Uh, even the sold listing, you just don't see any. It, it, it's just almost as if it doesn't exist anymore. And why? Because, well, two things. A lot of private sales are happening with these booster boxes. Uh, people don't want to pay eBay the 13%. So what do they do? Um, they know a guy who know a guy who knows this guy. And uh, they sell it off Instagram uh, to streamer to open it and so on. And people are willing to pay a higher premium because there's just no price reference to it. And, 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 and that's what is happening. You know, a lot of these old set are being gobbled up. There isn't as much Pokemon card that are out there as you think. I mean, let's put it this way. There are a lot of Pokemon sealed products that are out there, but those people that hold on to it, they're not constantly monitoring the market. And, um, and because of that, you know, they're not going to dump a pallet of Warring Skies. They're not going to dump a pallet of Evolution out. They have them, but they're not going to dump them. And to be very honest, there isn't that many individuals who actually have that amount of products lying around. Um, I mean, 
even if you're talking about Alpha Investment, if you're talking about Rudy, you know, Rudy doesn't actually have a lot of the XY era, nor the Sun and Moon era booster boxes. I mean, he did carry it a lot on the Sword and Shield era, um, but you know, some of these era, the Pokemon packs are being opened on stream, you know, people are people don't mind paying, and there isn't available a lot of them isn't available. So what I would suggest is that you know a lot of the Sun and Moon period set don't 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 open them. Or even uh, uh, yeah, Sword and Shield era, the earlier Sword and Shield era set, don't open them. Just just kind of sit on it, wait. I mean, Vivid Voltage, people are saying Vivid Voltage has been doing really, really bad. It should have done better. You just sit on it, wait, you know, and I think that it will eventually do really well. And because of this, I think that we are actually in an era that is most beautiful if you think about investment, because a lot of these sealed products are going to be opened. And uh, I've never actually seen a time when you can't actually order the most recent set from distributor for a long time. I mean, the COVID era was a, you could say anomaly, but um, you know, a lot of these sets are not even a year old and you can't actually order or access a lot of these booster boxes already. So um, yeah, I'm telling you guys that this is definitely a good era to start collecting. So um, that's pretty much it for this video. In the next video, remember, I'm gonna talk about the possible future, the possible prediction in the next three to six months. So before you make that decision on buying the Paldea Evolve for 120 bucks or buying certain Scarlet and Violet set, because Collect Pokemon just said that, you know, this is a new era. It's definitely going to be easy money eventually. And before you think about that, watch the video that I'm going to be releasing tomorrow uh, to get a better understanding about the prediction and whether you should be investing those money that you have into these booster box. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, this is Clack Pokemon. Bye-bye.